They may look like strippers, but these bartenders, or star tenders, compete with strippers for tips. They dress like dancers and encourage tipping. That makes it hard for the customers to tell the difference between dancers and bartenders. And this bartender says that's the way it should be. We're the ones bringing in the business. The bartenders use Instagram to attract followers and customers who come to see them in the bars. And the clubs use the bartender's photos to promote them. Online is so popular in this day and time, like that's how you get people to come back. But dancers pay between $50 and $200 to the house for the privilege of dancing at clubs like Starlets and Queens. Bartenders pay nothing and collect tips. We visited several clubs in Queens to see how tips get distributed. You can see strippers struggling for tips while bartenders smoke hookah and talk to their co-workers. Recently, strippers went on strike to protest. Ruby, a dancer, talked to us in a bathroom stall. I worked at like a couple of clubs and it's, it's, it's kind of ridiculous how hard we actually have to work and there's a lot of discrimination. Some dancers want to bartend to make the good money, but most are women of darker color. They claim clubs prefer women with lighter skin to work the bar. Bartenders and dancers call it racism. There is um, some racism that goes into um, their decisions on who to promote and who's popular. I know that I realize that especially promoters prefer to have a lighter complected women around. Dancers say promoters tell them to stay away from ethnic styles. He was like, oh, I don't want to see, I don't want to see girls with um, braids or, you know, like ponytails or cornrows because that's ratchet, that's ghetto. When we asked to speak to a manager at Starlet's, we were asked to leave. Because clubs consider dancers independent contractors, many dancers believe they don't have the right to sue for their fair share of wages. But attorney Casey Wolnowski says that's wrong. What I've seen and what I have uh, researched is that the way that these strip clubs ordinarily function in New York City is that the dancers who work for them are in fact going to be employees. Strippers who have organized say they're considering a class action lawsuit. Alexa Pupo, City College News.